Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel! today's video I want to talk to you guys about some of the things I do as an autistic ADHD -er that I just want to share with you and I just want to know if you can relate to any of them they're just some things that I've just found myself kind of doing like almost every single day and I just want to know if you guys can relate to any of them it's just like random you know ADHD and autistic things that I do and I just I want to share them with you and I just want to see if you guys can relate to any of my kind of things I just do so before we start if you could smash me a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my youtube channel I will forever be grateful so let's get on to the video before we start I just want to say none of this is like a diagnostic kind of criteria none of this means that you're autistic or you have ADHD I'm just sharing some of the things I do and if you're a fellow neurodivergent you might be able to relate you might not this could just be a molly thing but I just want to know if any of you guys can relate honestly I don't want this video to be too kind of deep it's just a video that I wanted to make because I just want to know if any of you guys can relate to any of the stuff that I do pretty much every single day. It's not a diagnostic tool, it doesn't mean you have autism and it's definitely not an ADHD kind of exclusive. It's just something as an ADHD and autistic ADHD that I do and I just want to know if any of you guys can relate basically. Yeah. So I spend hours organising, you know, my books, my games, uh, my, I don't know, I just spent ages organising my clothes or anything like that. Like, I think today, I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to challenge. I'm going to organise my wardrobe, I'm going to clean my shoes and organise them, put them all nice in a nice kind of line, blah, 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 blah. And then I get distracted or bored halfway through and then I never finish it. And then it's just like this doom pile of shoes or clothes that I never get around to doing because I got distracted halfway through and haven't been able to get the motivation or like the dopamine to, to do it again so yeah i start tasks and never finish them basically let me know if you guys can relate to that because it's something that really irritates me but i know it irritates my parents and my sister too because i just leave like messy piles of clothes and shoes and books and everything else lying around the house because i'm like oh well i did start to do that but then i i i'll finish it off tomorrow and tomorrow never comes so let me know if you can relate to that so the next one is accidentally interrupting people when they're talking because you just can't hold in what you want to say like you just can't contain it any longer like you're excited to say it so you just can't you can't contain your thoughts you just have to say it like there and then despite other people talking like you don't want to be rude and you know it's rude to do that but you just can't contain your excitement you just have to say it there and then otherwise one you'll forget it otherwise two you're going to explode with excitement and you just have to say it there and then even though i know it's rude to interrupt people i know i know i know please don't come at me i know it's rude i just cannot help it sometimes i just have the urge to just say it because i'm so excited and i if i don't say it now i'm going to forget it and i need to say it because i'm so excited to tell you this thing like yeah so I don't know if this one counts as a problem. I think I might have an issue, but like I keep buying notebooks and books and then and I just have like random piles of notebooks and books that I never read or I will never ever use. Like I don't know how many notebooks I have that I just will never use. Like I don't know why. I just keep buying notebooks. Cuz I'm like, "Oh, I'm going to write down all the stuff I need to do. I'm going to write down all my content ideas in this notebook." And I never do it. And then the notebook literally just has like a bubble of like content ideas and nothing else on the page and that isn't a reflection of me not having ideas it's just I don't know how to articulate them put them on the page so I don't know what makes me believe that I'm going to be able to fill up a whole notebook of great ideas but yeah I just keep buying notebooks I see them and like this is the notebook this notebook here I'm going to write everything in it it's going to be it's going to be like the Anne Frank diary like I'm this is going to be my book and I am going to write it and in like 30 years, people are going to be going to my museum and seeing it because this 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 notebook right here is going to be the one full of all my amazing ideas. And then it ends up on the kitchen side or like the conservatory side and never used. So yeah, can you relate to just keep buying random notebooks and just having random piles of books and notebooks that are never going to be used or read? Or is it just me? This one is quite problematic for me. I make YouTube videos, right? And well, I just forget what I'm trying to say halfway through what I'm trying to say. So like halfway through the sentence, I forget what I'm going to say. And then I'm like, what was I going to say? And then I get so frustrated and so wound up about it. I just don't even, I just give up on it. And I, I don't bother finishing what I'm going to say. And even in like 
real life when I'm talking to people, I'll be like, hmm, what's I gonna say? Then I just, you know, people are like, and, and I was like, um, I don't, I don't know what I was saying. I've forgotten what I was even talking about. Yeah, people get annoyed at me and I get annoyed at myself. Especially when I'm trying to film YouTube videos, I have like hundreds of outtakes just for one sentence. Cause I'm like, I can't remember what I'm trying to say. Yeah, anyone else? Now this one drives me absolutely nuts, right? And I know it drives everybody else who's talking to me nuts. But when I'm trying to tell people a story, right? I'll keep changing the topic and I'll, I'll go like back, I'll circle back round to it and people get confused and they lose track of what I'm trying to say. And to be quite honest, I, I, I know what I'm talking about. So to me, it's just like, well, how did you not follow what I just said? It was so simple. I was telling you about this. Then I told you about that. And then people are just, but you're darting here, there and everywhere. So like a neurotypical person would probably just, you know, follow the same story like that. But me as a neurodivergent, I'm like, when I'm telling a story, I'm just like, da -la 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 -la. and people are just like, they pretend to understand what I'm saying because in my head it makes sense. But to other people, they lost me like half an hour ago. And now I'm, now I'm talking about quantum physics. And they're like, but we were talking about your dog. So why are we now talking about quantum physics and yeah. Mm. So this one is extremely internal. Like I internalize this. This is just something that I really, I don't kind of understand about myself, but I really struggle to maintain focus a lot of the time, right? And I struggle with multitasking a lot of the time, but I can be really like deep in conversation with someone. And especially like if I'm passionate about what we're talking about, you know, I'll be deep in it and I'll be able to concentrate. But also at the same time, I'm also thinking about whether or not I'm giving you enough eye contact. Like if I'm making enough eye contact, if I'm smiling enough, like am I gesturing that I'm listening still? Like, you know, yeah, I can multitask and do that, but it, I, I can't really do that any other time. But I can then, like I can, and then I'm thinking like, so what can we have for dinner tonight? Whilst also keeping track of what this person's saying and keeping the conversation going. Like, how do I do that? Am I a magician? I don't understand how I do it. And I can't actually keep up with a conversation that's as simple as, how are you today? My brain's just like, yeah, my favorite color's purple. And people are just like, I could wake up tomorrow, right? And think, I'm feeling really spontaneous, really adventurous. I wanna try some new food. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna try some new things. Then I spend hours, and I mean like hours, researching, trying to find the perfect recipe, you know, and I'll be like, I really want to do this. I really want to push myself out of my comfort zone. I want to do it. And you know, I'm really convinced that I want to try new food. Then it comes to buying the stuff. I've spent loads of money and then I look at it and I'm like, no, I, I can't. And then I go back to eating the same food I've fixated on for the past six months. Then I'm left with food that I won't eat because really realistically, I probably knew I wasn't going to do it. I just wanted to feel brave. Now this is something that I need someone to help me make sense of because I don't know how I do this, but I can hyper focus, right? And literally master a new skill within a few hours, right? And it doesn't phase me. And you know, I can bash out and I'm great, right? I can master it. I'm an expert in, in that said thing within like a few hours. I, I don't know how I do it, but I do it. But also at the same time, right? I'm extremely overwhelmed even thinking about starting a basic house chore like I don't know putting the laundry away or you know brushing my teeth having a shower cooking myself food like I can't do those simple tasks like just thinking about it is crazy overwhelming to me but I can hyper focus and master a brand new skill overnight literally just within a few hours I can do it I could be an expert at like origami or something overnight and I've never even done it before I can master that but I can't master doing the laundry like I can't even think about starting that because it's too overwhelming there's too many things involved like, I can't do it but when it comes to mastering something that I want to do I, I can just done I'm a master call me the origami I don't know call me that origami champion or so I don't even know what it is but like yeah I don't know how I do it can you relate to that Thank you so much for watching. Just let me know if you can relate to any of these. And also write down below some of the things that you do that you want to know if anyone else relates to. I just find these sort of things like really kind of, they're just, I find them really heartwarming because it just makes me realize I'm not alone. And sometimes that's all we need. Just a connection to know that we're not alone just makes us feel less alone. Obviously, Molly. Mm, yeah, basically this video, I just wanted to, I just wanted to connect with you guys and let you know like, I, I struggle too, but sometimes I just have to, I have to make fun of it because sometimes it's just so hard, but I need to let you guys know that you're not alone. So I thought, why not expose myself and see if you guys can relate to some of the things that I find hard that I do every day. 
yeah let me know down below in the comments and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye